Hey guys, and welcome to my Series 31, well, the crap update, let's call it that, Autumn Preview. Um, well, yeah, let's get right to it. The Photo Challenge. Take a photo with your car, off your car, with the Gables. Now, the Gables is a player house. One of the houses you can buy. It's right there. And here's the festival, so it's not that far. And once you buy it, you get drone mode. Ooh! Which, once you get it, uh, you use like twice and then never again. At least that's the case with me. And for that, I'm going to be using. Well, you can. Any car will do. I'm just going to be using the Koenigsegg Jesko because then I used it for something. Uh. Playground games. Oh, no, wait. Uh, let's, let's do them properly. Uh, own and drive any cult car. Uh, earn 500,000 skill score. Win a dirt racing series event. I made a track for that. Uh, earn 10 daredevil skills. Yes, yes, yes. For all three, I'm going to be using the AMC Gremlin X. So, easy peasy. Uh, the playground games, oh, really, idiot, is going to be at the quarry, it's C600 Retro Hut Hatch, so, whoopee, and for that I am going to be using, where is it, here we are, this one, the 1983 Volkswagen Golf GTI. This little baby. A hysterical little thingy. Uh, and the tune I'm going to be using... <sighs> yes, we have to do it this way because that's not annoying at all. Uh, yep, this one. And here's the share code. That's for the games. Uh, then we have the PR stunts, which is pretty easy, I believe. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum. We have the Hilltop Vista danger sign, where we have to hit, what is it, 190 meters. Uh, I'm going to use the Baja truck for that. And then we have Roman Mile Speed Trap where we have to hit 378.2 kilometers an hour. I'm going to be using the Mosler for that. And then finally, Foothill Speed Zone, 217.3 kilometers an hour. And I'm going to be using the Mosler for that as well. So, that's the boring stuff. Now, we get to the fun part. Yesterday evening, I had so much fun. I, it was fun, fun, fun times at Forza. I was trying to figure out how the hell do I make the game uh, remember my blueprints and not and actually give me a share code for the blueprint that I created and not some long ago forgotten blueprint. And it turns out it's very simple. It's not broken at all. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, oh, I get a headache just thinking of it. Because what you do is you create a blueprint, then you drive the blueprint, then you get a share code. If it's not the correct share code, you create the same blueprint again. Drive it again. You get a new share code. Sometimes this is the correct one, sometimes it's not. And so on and so forth. Uh, some of the races uh, for Autumn, I had to create the same blueprint six times to get the right share code. That was not annoying at all, and not frustrating at all, and in no way did I want to kill anyone yesterday. No, 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 no. I was just happy, happy fun times at Forza. <sighs> Anyway, 
<sighs> happy place, happy place, happy place. This is fun. This is video gaming. It's really fun and exciting. No way frustrating. <clears throat> anyway, the trial. Uh, grace, space, and pace. And, yeah, there's no point for getting, guessing what that is. A800 Road Racing Jaguars. And the first race is Hollywood Park Circuit, three laps, sunrise, overcast. Then we have Greendale Super Sprint, early afternoon, cloudy. And finally, Lakehurst Forest Sprint, late afternoon, fog. And uh, now I actually tested pretty much all the Jaggers. It was a very long night yesterday. <sighs> oh, you have no idea. Uh, and the final result is in. I am going to be using this, the 2015 Jaguar XES. And is it that much faster than everything else? No. So why this one? Mm -hmm. <coughs> it, it is, I'd say, a little bit faster. Uh, is it the fastest Jaguar ever tune ever made? No. But it's easy to control and it'll beat the AI with some margin. And that's the important thing. And of course I'm getting messages while I'm recording. Typical. Um, so, we're going to be using this one. It doesn't have a paint job yet, but uh, we're working on it. Uh, yeah, the tune. The tune I'm going to be using is... This is so stupid, I have to do it this way. Why can't it just work? There we go. If that works. <laughs> Who knows. Um, yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Um, let's see... Uh, what else? What do we do next? Right, let's do the other road racing event. Then we have... Oops, here we go. Uh, Supercars on C. Which is... S1900 Road Racing Retro Supercars. And... Did I do much testing on this? You... Well, why not, you may ask. Because, well... Uh, Retro Supercars, S1. No, 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 no. Ta-da! The end. Uh, I'm gonna be using this one, the 2005 Ford GT. And let me just show the tracks as well. Uh, let's see. We have... Waterhead Sprint, which is always fun. And not bugged at all. Morning light rain, which makes it even more fun because the AI just has Formula One grip uh, and Formula One acceleration, uh, and you will not have that because well, it's wet. And then we have Elston on Sea Sprint early afternoon clear, and finally Bamber Coast Circuit uh, three laps late afternoon overcast. And like I said, I'm going to be using the 2005 Ford GT, and the tune I'm going to be using is... This one. There you go. Uh, and that takes care of all of the road racing for autumn. Now it gets fun. Now it gets really fun. <sighs> yes, I'm sorry. Next we have Bug Me Nut. Mm. You just want to hurt someone when you read something like that. Or cry. Or both. Um, it is A800 Cross Country in Off-Road Buggies. Which of course means the Can-Am will be fun. Not for you, but for the AI. Um, we have windmill cross country, uh, morning overcast. We have ambleside loop cross.
cross country early afternoon, heavy rain. Woohoo! And yeah, trust me, that's just oh my god, fun. And finally, Ambleside Rush cross country, late afternoon, clear. Uh, and the car I'm going to be using is. Yeah, I know, I know. This one. The 1969 Volkswagen Class 5 1600 Baja Bug. But why? Because it's cheap and it's good and it'll beat the can amps. The end. Uh, the tune I'm going to be using for that event is. This one. There you go. Uh, what else do we have? Oh yeah. Uh, finally we have the Twin Peaks, which is not cross country. Ray. It is C600 dirt racing in cult cars. Yeah. I don't know why they keep doing these C600 fucking dirt racing. It's just moronic at this point. I hate C600 dirt racing. Because if you build something with rally tires, or you actually have some grip, um, you're going to have like four horsepower and the AI is just going to run away. If you build something without rally tires, you're going to have no grip and the AI is going to run away. It's great fun. Uh, anyway, we start at Mortimer Garden and Scramble, of course. Three laps, sunrise, cloudy. There's nothing like no power and no grip versus one billion lamp posts and other crap. Yes, brilliant. Finally, we have, and then we have Glen Rannoch Trail, early afternoon, clear. Yes, of course we do. One of the best rally tracks in the game, wasted on C600 cult cars. Brilliant. And finally, uh, Greendale Foothill Scramble. Uh, three laps, sunset, cloudy. And it's gonna suck. But at least it's not the trial, so, you know, that's something. The car I'm gonna be using is this one. The Datsun 1970 Datsun 510. And yes, in case you're wondering, I will be doing the Fossathon on its own, and then I'm going to be doing this event. Why? Well, because... Money. No? Okay. Well, up to you. Who cares? Um, anyway, the tune I'm going to be using is... This one. There you go. And let's see, that's it really. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Uh, so all in all, it's, well, it sucks, but it's not as bad as it could be. I mean, there are uh, off-road buggies, which sucks, but at least it's A800. It would be worse in B700, and it's not the trial. That's a good thing. Um, and of course the dirt racing, C600 dirt racing cult cars is just not fun. I, uh, I find it boring. S1900 road racing is gonna be... neat, I'd say. I like that. But the rest is... pretty much useless. Um... Are there any good cars we're getting? Hard to find. Let oh, we get legendary clothing. <gasps> oh my god. So we get absolutely no new cars next week. But we do get the Typhoon. Woohoo! I guess. Um, and you get an I Pace and a Renault Clio and a yellow biker. Oh, you get a yellow biker jersey. That's right. Because... Uh, stupid. 
anyway, uh, that's it for the autumn season. And yeah, normal services are resumed. And trust me when I say, please, please use the share codes for the blueprints. They're in the description below. It took me forever to get them all. And oh, I'm still pissed of that. At that, actually. Um, other than that, there's not much to say, really. Uh, oh, yeah. Please, do as so many others have done already. Join the Wascord. Or Discord. Or whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's a link in the description below. And, yeah. That's it. Have fun practicing. Uh, I'd say the one to really practice is probably the Bark Me Nut event and the trial, of course. Um, but yeah, definitely that Bark Me Nut because yeah, it's just silly how fast the AI are. And there's not much I can do about it. I'm sorry. So, anyway, uh, remember if you use one of my tunes or one of my blueprints, please remember to like them. The same goes for the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Damn it. And also, please join the Discord. Um, but that's it for me, from me now. Uh, or for now. Uh, yeah. Stay safe out there, and thanks for watching. Bye bye.